you can sleep on it if you're really tired. Don't do that. Welcome to the Monday Must Do, where I tell you about an attraction or a place that you just must do at the Walt Disney World Resort. Today's must do comes to us from Epcot, and it is Spaceship Earth. You know, the big golf ball looking thing right at the entrance of Epcot. Only it's not a golf ball, so please stop calling it that. Spaceship Earth is a slow moving, almost dark ride that takes you through the history of communications all the way from the Stone Age to the Computer Age. This is one of those rides that, yes, it's educational, but it's really very interesting. And of course, if it's a hot day or you're just tired, it's also a nice relaxing ride to kind of get off your feet and get re-energized for a minute. Once you get off of Spaceship Earth, you'll actually exit into a big area where there's a lot of fun, interactive games and displays that are fun for everyone. One of the best things about Spaceship Earth is there's no height restrictions. Any size can get on this ride. Any age can be interested in this ride. It does get a little dark in some sections, but it's not ever really completely dark, as far as I remember. And it's just like a fun, relaxing, very educational ride. Fast Pass Plus is offered for Spaceship Earth, but this is one of those rides where I'm gonna tell you again that depending on what time of year you go, depending on what time of day you try to ride it, you might be able just to walk right onto it or have a 30 minute or less wait time anyway. So just kind of think of that when you're planning your Fast Pass Plus selections, whether or not you wanna use one for Spaceship Earth. Even if you think this ride's kind of boring, you should at least ride it once so that you know that you've ridden the ride that is the icon for Epcot. Okay, it's your turn. Have you ridden Spaceship Earth before? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. One more thing, do you know what Epcot stands for? It is an acronym, it does stand for something. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what Epcot stands for. That's it for the Monday Must Do for today. I'll be back next week with another Must Do attraction. Thanks for watching everybody. See you real soon.